Hey, this is Mikey. I want to do a quick video tutorial on the drop down menu, which is a new feature in After Effects version 2020. Now, there's been lots of other tutorials out there. Our good friends over at Euchre Media has a great one, and I'll link to that down in the description. Um, I wanted to show you something really quick and really the absolute easiest drop dead simple way of connecting things to the drop down menu in order to change your things, you know, the way your composition looks. Let's first create the drop down menu and let me show you how we have it rigged up. So if we go up to effects, expression controls, drop down menu control. And you can see up here there is a new drop down menu. And I'm going to click on, well, let's move this over so we can see. Click on edit. And what edit will do will bring up our menu and we can go in and change these. So let's, you know, I'm going to want to change the color of this background using the menu. And you can really have it do anything you want, change color, text pictures, you know, all sorts of things. So let's go in red, blue, green, and let's add one more, orange. And you can see I have these menus, red, blue, green, orange. And how to use this is when you link to this with expressions, it outputs a value. So if I have red selected, it says value one. That's the first index. If it's blue, it says two, green, three, orange, four. So it gives you, it spits out a number that you can use to drive other things. The easiest way to have that drive something is not to use it to control position or, you know, opacity or all those other different things, but just to simply um, use the time remap. So I'm going to go into this background pre-comp and you can see what I have here is I just have four different backgrounds that I've stuck in there. So a red one, a blue one, green one, and an orange one. And this can be anything. You can have text here. You can have different pictures. Whatever you can fit onto one frame, you can easily switch. So let's go back into our drop-down menu. And what we're going to do is go to Layer, Time, Enable Time Remapping. And to this, we're going to add an expression. So hold down Option or Alt, click on the stopwatch. And the expression is we're going to first pick whip the drop-down menu. Um, and then that brings in that menu. And then we're going to times this by an expression, this comp dot frame duration, which gives me the frame rate of the comp. And then we're going to subtract, again, this comp dot frame duration. And so let me tell you what this is doing. It's picking this number. Right now, that's orange, which is uh, the fourth one. So it's spitting out a number four. And so when I stick it into this time remap, that's telling it to go to four seconds. And that's not what I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the, the fourth frame. In order to do that, we times it by the frame duration, which is the frame rate. So it's like 0 0.041 or whatever it is, is how long each frame is. And so that gets us to the right frame, except for um, everything's offset because this is actually frame zero. This is frame one, frame two, frame three. And it's actually now looking at frame four. So in order to fix that, we then subtract the frame duration, which is just the length of one frame, and it brings us back to where we need to. Another option is to just move all of these over one frame so there's nothing on frame zero, and it starts on frame one. But either way, that's not hard to type that in or just to copy and paste it. Now, when I come in here, switch to red, it's the red one blue it's the blue one and you can see right here where it says frame one I'm gonna switch that it's two three and really really simple way of creating all these different items right and what's neat is then I can change all of this to whatever text pictures images put this into a drop-down menu throw it into a mogurt and you can have all of these variations in your projects that you share on Premiere Pro. So if you need something quick and easy in order to, you don't have to do any math or anything like that, this is really the best way of doing it. Time remap just straight to the drop down menu and make sure you, you know, times it by the frame duration. And there you go. 
So thank you so much for watching. I know this was a quick tutorial, but I did get a lot of questions about how to use this. So if you want a more in-depth tutorial on drop-down menus, again, check out the video from Euchre Media. They go over a couple of really cool options and really dive into it more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.